What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. We finally got it. FSD Beta 10.69.2. This is the latest larger scale release. I want to go ahead and scroll through some of these release notes and go over this and do our first test drive. We're going to make it short and sweet, but first things first, this is software version 2022.20.15. So if you see that coming to your vehicle, know that this is the new and latest FSD Beta. So first things first, if you didn't know already, this was actually prevalent prior, but they have now finally reset the FSD beta suspensions from all of those false positives that people were complaining about. So this actually now has reset all the driver initiated disengagements. So now there's no more counted towards it. You are good to go. Everything's back at zero. So no strikes, get ready, drive carefully. You're good to go. Moving on from that, here we go on the actual beta release notes. They added a new deep lane guidance module for the vector lanes neural network, which fuses features extracted from the video streams with course map data, improved overall driving smoothness without sacrificing latency through better modeling of our system and actual latency in trajectory planning, improved unprotected left turns and with more appropriate speed profiles when approaching and exiting median crossover regions. So this is what we're actually gonna test today in this video as well. We have a good unprotected left turn with about four lanes of traffic on each side of a median. We're gonna see in how, uh, hope, and hope that this reacts very positively to that. Then you have added control for arbitrary low speed moving volumes from occupancy network upgraded occupancy network uh, to use video instead of images from singles time step. That's actually pretty significant. Obviously, anytime it can read and correlate video instead of static images, that should help. Upgraded to a new two-stage architecture to produce object kinematics, uh, where network commute is uh, allocated O instead of O space. So then you have increased smoothness for protected right turns by improving the association of traffic lights with slip lanes via yield signs with slip lanes, reduced false slowdowns near crosswalks. I did experience this quite a bit over the weekend. We were driving down out of town in Orlando and there's obviously a lot of pedestrian walkways and I drive if you're familiar with the area near Disney and it was just false positive after false positive. Improved uh, geometry error for ego relevance lanes by 34% and crossing lanes by 21% with a full vector lanes neural network update. Made speed profiles more comfortable Improved recall of animations by 34%, enable creeping for visibility, improved accuracy of stopping position in critical scenarios, increased recall of forking lanes by 36%, improved velocity error for pedestrians and bicyclists by 17%, improved recall of object detection, eliminated 26% of missing detections, improved object, object future path predictions, improved speed when entering highways by better handling upcoming map speeds, reduced latency, enable faster identification of red light runners. And you get the point. We're not gonna read through all of these. Pause the video if you need to see every exact detail, but those are the main update improvements for 10.69.2. Then obviously you still have your full self-driving beta notes, the driving visualization improvements, the cabin camera, and the tire configuration updates. Now, one thing I don't see on here, and I don't know if it's available in this beta, is the ability to move your blind spot monitoring camera around doesn't seem like it is there at all um so just something to keep in mind probably not getting that in this update but if we find it we will keep you updated but for now let's go ahead and do our first test drive on this new 10.69.2 beta so here we go this is that unprotected left turn i was talking about let's see how well it takes this we obviously have one vehicle in front of us and pedestrians on the left. I'm not sure if they're going to be crossing over to walk across this road, uh, but it doesn't look like they're doing so. So let's see how this handles it. So you can see it creeping pretty well right now. It's actually saying it's creeping for visibility. And it is going into the median, but it is not quite 
out of the road yet. It is now. And there's quite a few cars coming, but that was a good safe maneuver. We have an opening coming. Let's see if it takes it right here. And it did. Okay. Not too shabby on that unprotected left turn. Again, two lanes of traffic on each side and it did handle that pretty uh pretty aggressively but safely at the same time. So that's awesome to see. hesitating here for some reason and it's actually breaking and it's picking back up now so that was not very smooth that was actually kind of dangerous there's a truck behind us but it was a little ways back so it didn't put us in any immediate danger but that was not a good accelerated merge system with the speed right now as you can see it's giving us fake uh, false positives and it's breaking pretty significantly every few minutes it's doing it again now as you can see the speed is decelerating I'm gonna go ahead and override that okay nope and it was trying to go in the other lane so not the smoothest not the smoothest first little attempt at a, about a mile stretch. We'll be doing plenty more tests to see how well this works. Hopefully it'll keep on improving, but for this one, I think I'm going to, uh, I'm going to give this one a break and get back on the interstate here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I know this is a very small sample size, but I don't believe anywhere outside of California yet is going to be as smooth as what you're seeing on some of these other videos. I am obviously in Florida, and I think there's still quite a bit of work to do on some of these false positives and other issues that we keep seeing in these betas. So let me know, comment down below. Are you guys excited for this? Are you still thinking it's not gonna reach full autonomousness by the end of the year like Musk says? Let me know. Thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.